Hi everybody, so today's gosh review is on the Soft and Shine Lip Balm. I only have one right now because I bought it about two weeks ago, I do believe. The color I have is 34 Perfect Plum. I love it. This is the color. It smells good. And since it's a lip balm and also a color, as I said in my uh, description box, you get kind of the best of both worlds. You get the lipstick color as well as the moisturizing of a lip balm. Also, with the Shoft and Sign lip balm, I do believe there's an SPF in this. I think it's SPF 15, but I'm not 100% sure. I think it's on the Gosh site if you want to check that out. So don't specifically quote me on that, but I do believe there's SPF in this. So as you can tell, there's the color right there. It's not sticky, it's like nice and soft. It's like it's like a lip balm but with color. So yeah, and it it still has like a nice shine to it too. Um I still somewhat have lip, some of my lip venom on from earlier. But like it's it's a really nice color. There is where is it? It's one point five grams. I do believe it's 15 or 11 dollars smells good as everyone knows um, I don't buy makeup that stinks unless it's mascara because that's just a knowing that it's not gonna smell good but yeah so it does smell good in a way it reminds me of vanilla I don't know if I already said that but anyways <laughs> I'm planning on getting more colors like the Barbie one I love the, the pink color of Barbie as everyone knows um there's a Dior lip gloss that I have, and I call it Barbie Pink because of the color of it. And now Gosh actually has out a pink that reminds me of Barbie, so I, I really do want to get the Barbie Pink. So if anyone's ever tried this, let me know down below in the comment box. Give me your opinions, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, because you never know. There will be things people do not like about products. So it's just one of those ways. So yeah. Just comment below and rate and subscribe. So have a great day. Bye.